what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? According to Covington Police Department, 60-year-old Virgil Stewart was walking home from work, minding his own business, when he was randomly selected by a couple of nothings for robbery. They robbed him and they killed him. Guess what the total take was? Six dollars. The irony is, Virgil worked at a dollar store and he was robbed of six dollars. Who would do such a beastly thing? Latoya Dale. Latoya Dale is 31 years old of Florence, Kentucky. She was arrested on September 15th on counts of burglary and murder. She told detectives that it was her accomplice who shot Stewart. This according to court documents. She also said that they stole the $6. She admitted, yep, we stole $6. That's it. It's really, I think, everybody's worst, worst nightmare, fam, to have their life taken in vain. You know, just to die like that. Like a dog on the streets. Some uncivilized mutts looking for a quick come up. And here's the thing, fam, it could have been anybody. They told the police that they were just waiting. They were lurking. They was looking for somebody, anybody to rob. So it could have been anybody. Stuart was just it. He just happened to be the one that they saw as an easy target that night. That could have happened to anybody. And that's the scary thing about living in these United Snakes of America, these ununited Snakes of America. Yeah. People out here, man, they have such a low opinion about life. I mean, just think about it, fam. Six bucks. The authorities said that Virgil took the job to support his granddaughters. Honorable. He took the job to support his granddaughters. So now you have these kids growing up without their grandfather and role model. Cause I bet you a dollar to a donut he was a role model to him. He obviously doted over them if he was out there working at 60 years old for his granddaughters. Imagine that fam, just going on about your business. Already, life is hard enough. Obviously, you're working at a dollar store and you're walking home. That in and of itself is tough to do already. Already dealing with all kinds of financial hardships. And here come these nothings to cut your life short. They say that the accomplice is in jail on unrelated charges. So what we looking at, Kentucky does have a death penalty. Thank God. That's right, fam. We have to get used to cleaning house. We got to get used to getting rid of these people who are uncivilized. The ones who are just unfit to live amongst the civilized, they got to go. And I don't give a damn what they look like. I don't care what the color is. I don't care what they claim. I don't care what their gender is, sexual orientation, none of that. They got to go. Kill that man over $6? Come on, man. No amount of money can justify taking an innocent life. But $6? It just goes to show you how petty they are. Uncivilized. They got to go.
R.I.P. Virgil Stewart. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?